meet Senior Waterman Elder Bill Yidam Dummer Hani. So I'm Professor Ray Norris and I'm very different from Bill <laughs> in many ways and yet Bill and I are coming together tonight on this fantastic Darwin sky we have here to tell you the same story about who were the world's first astronomers. As we do so, we're going to take you on a journey. We're going to go through our different lives. Uh, once upon a time, there's this young lad called Ray. He was a total geek. And then when I was a bit older, I built myself a radio telescope. And then one of the greatest thrills of my school life was at home when I pointed this dish at where I'd worked out Apollo 13 should be, and I actually got to hear the Apollo 13 astronauts talking. Uh, what about yours, Bill? Right. Now, my born and grown up in my country, and that's why I looked when I was young. While I was in there with the storytelling to us again, I would have travelled in the night, there was nobody out of what? I would have travelled with the star. So, uh, my uni, well actually I went to Cambridge Uni, uh, in England. Oh, I had some great teachers. I had some pretty awful teachers as well. I guess we all get that. Bill. Now, for me, see all these old people behind me. They're the ones that weren't really taught me so much, but they were really old men. And those old people taught me all the ceremony, song, all the creation song. And I'm going to sing you one song. <laughs> And so, in fact, I then went on to do a, a three-year PhD studying how stars form. And the other thing I started around that time was I started to get interested in how other people see the sky, other cultures, how different people around the world uh, view the sky and have their own astronomy. Down the bottom there, what I'm pointing at, this is called Anade. The Anade is the boss man up in the sky there today. Now, nobody painted that up. That's why he looked like. The night he used to come down from the sky. So Bill and I both went on continuing learning, as we all do, and uh, also teaching. Um, about the same time, I started taking an interest in Aboriginal astronomy. And I'd heard stories of people like Bill. Um, I'd heard uh, about how the sun and moon are important in many Aboriginal cultures. The moon is generally male, the sun is usually female. Neil Indy, who's the moon man, is a big, fat, lazy man, <laughs> and uh, he's the full moon. <laughs> and uh, he was so fat and lazy, he expected his wives <laughs> and sons. You know this story. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, you're right. <laughs> uh, his wives and sons to get all his food for him. Well, they didn't think much of this, so they attacked him with their axes. They chopped bits off him, so he gradually got thinner and thinner and thinner. <laughs> until he died. And of course, that's the waning moon and then the new moon uh, when he finally died. And then he stayed dead for three nights, three nights, and then he rose to life again, got healthy, got fat, became the full moon, and so the cycle continues. And but one, one of the things that really fascinated me about all this is I started hearing stories how people were explaining how eclipses work. And they say that eclipses happen, you get these stories from all across Australia, eclipses happen when the moon man and the sun woman make love, and so their bodies cover each other. And this you see the creation dog up there, we call it Mudborongo, but later on it become a dingo. Well, call it. This thing behind me is a galaxy, this spiral thing. What a galaxy is, is a whole group of stars. So our universe is full of stars. Our Milky Way is a galaxy like that, all the stars that you see above us. But at this moment, Instead of talking about the slides, let's actually look at the sky above us. So what I want you to do now is to lie back on the grass, close your eyes for a few seconds so your eyes can get adjusted to the dark, and we'll start taking a journey through the night sky <coughs> above us. Open your eyes and look up above you. And you can see right above you is the Milky Way that white, misty light right above you, and that's millions of stars, that's our galaxy, our Milky Way. Now, um, what he's talking about, the Milky Way, and what we call, in our name, morning. Morning, the one 
the Milky Way, if you could see the black space and the white line on each side of it. Now, what do you see there just lying beside a Kumarije or Limio? We call that Mundala. The Mundala is a scorpion. What are you laying flat? We call it Barba. So let's go over to the other side of the sky. So on your right, above that big white building, you'll see there's a star that we Western folk call Spiker. But uh, for Bill, it's uh, a wallaby, isn't it? That's right. Now, what that white man call it, Spiker? We call it a Kandarin. Kandarin, during the creation time, he painted himself up, made himself a white face with a white pigment called Kaliji. And he went across there to sat down one day after the ceremony, and that's why he's there, and he's still there today. Uh, our future is our children, and we really, uh, when we think about the future, we're really thinking about, we talked a lot about education, about where our people are going. Now, this sort of thing, like Ray and I talking about with the future, what uh, we should be doing, I think, to go to all the different class. Classroom, they can learn something from the Aboriginal way and the white way. This is only the, some of the stars we are talking about. Many more stars around the country. Right across. Wani Malan, De Malan, De Malan, Gisboroya. Wani Malan, De Malan, De Malan, Gisboroya. Wani Malan, De Malan, De Malan, Gisboroya. Wani Malan, De Malan.